hello everyone so welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to learn how to use the list text in gutenberg editor so you can see uh, this is my blog and it is a simple text hard coded text we want to change it with the list text so to use the list text uh, we have declared a attribute called the content and we have this text is from here uh, you can see now we want to use a list text so if you want to use the list text simply you have to type of the list text this is an uh, this is a component you can see this is the component we have to import it from the blog editor so I am going to import it you can see it is imported so it is your first duty you must need to import it from this blog editor and you can see there are some properties like uh, tag name by default it is h2 you can change it like uh, p tag or something s3 you can also use a dynamic tag i will show you later a bit later you can give a class name or you can generate a class name for here i think i know that there is a class name we can also use this but i want to use a simple class name or i can remove this one and the third one is for the value of this field we will keep this value that's mean this attribute like the content and it accept a function that is on this function and inside the something on this function uh, it returns a value that's mean the text i mean the the value of this field we will get inside this value so we have to simply set attributes the content with this next new value that's it and if we want to save function inside this save function we have to do the same thing but there is a bit different like we don't need to use any on change function rather we will call a content property here that is something like this one okay and if I go to run my application and go back to this editor, refresh, yeah, you can see it is giving and failed. If I go back here and select, and where I can type like a hello Gutenberg, and this is text and give some most. Uh, mostly use formatting tools like we can make it bold italic or we can insert a link there are some more information if you click on this more icon like make it highlight a line code and line image subscript and separate script and some more options you can also control this option like sometimes we don't need to use any more information suppose we need only bold and italic so how can we control this and we will give the permission the user only use bold and italic nothing else so if we want to control this formatting we will call a new uh, attributes that is called the uh, arrow formats and the arrow formats as an array inside this array we can define how many formats in you are going to allow suppose we are going to allow only this core bold and italic now if we refresh so this one and you can see there are only formatting tool i mean the formatting tag like bold and italic you can also add another like or a link something like that. yeah if you refresh i'll see 
another formatting option by default there is no default value that's why it is looking a simple blank so it is not good we can use a placeholder so that it can give a better user experience if you want to add an add a placeholder simply add this placeholder this is a another uh, property and make it tensile yeah add content or something like and if we refresh we see there is a placeholder yes you can see this is a placeholder and now it is looking better like better experience update and if you go to see the front end you will see yeah it is already fine sometimes you may need to use an option to change the tag also we can do it however make it italic and you will see the result that is it is italic now now most important part is the multiple system and the restricts suppose you want to use uh, a list and where li tag will be repeated one by one in this case we can use this restricts so how can we do this simply we can change the parent tag like evil it will be a parent tag uh, and we can use multiple multi line that's in multi line will be li that means when we will uh, press enter we'll get another li and all li will be included inside a single evil so we can call it at least item something like this we have to change from here also a well only and some multi-line li yeah now if we go back to my editor and refresh yes you can see by default it is giving an option to add uh, items like feature one if you press enter you will get another so another feature third feature and if I check out my inspector I will see yes you can see this is our evil and ALI is adding as the side like fourth feature so this is multiple uh, feature and it will give you an options you can easily create a, a list a list item like this one uh, sometimes in case of e tag like you want to support the multiple p tag uh, if you only hide this p tag and only give this option then we will get a problem so like uh, this one and if we refresh I want to remove this room and the first block and suppose I want to add multiple paragraph you can see this is now only single paragraph our country press enter our release and if you check out you can see this time we are pressing enter it is creating a break tag but that is not our expected we are expecting that this time we enter we will get another p tag that will be better for us how can we do this to do this we can easily do this first of all we have to declare a parent tag like div and give a class name that will be better like our content or something like this it will be better to look better 
nothing else so multi line will be paragraph tick so in the state function we have to update it uh, our content and multi line is speeding if you don't use this multi line in the save function it will also work fine and if you refresh and again start and if I go to inspect you can see yeah now type our country our place this time we press enter we can getting a new uh, paragraph tick press our motherland and if we refresh and check out to the front end I will see this is our brand this is our quentin and this our separate paragraph tick so I think you understand how to use the risk text and how can you modify it as part of a need. Uh, before going to finish this risk text lecture, let me show you how can we change the risk uh, tag name dynamically. Suppose we want to give an option so that our user can select a tag name for our risk text. So I want to remove this one from here. Simply make it to the paragraph, no multi line, and same case like paragraph. But we want to change. I want to give them options to change the tag name. So simply, I want to add a tag attribute, and by default, it is as to tag. But the user will be able to change the tag so i am going to take this let's take this tag we will add an option here like select control we can use a component that is called select control you can learn more about select control from the documentations it has some basic uh, properties like a level like selected and value will be our tag and this options it is an array and inside this array this option is an object it accept two uh, properties first one is the level and second was the value so suppose we want to make it translatable it's one first block and value will be our is one make it capital is one and second is two and third is a is four or is five four is five and we can use paragraph text also yeah make it paragraph also and on the options function it is value we will simply update our set attribute that's mean our attribute tag as the value okay we have to import the select control from our components select control and now we're getting a dynamic value I mean you can change the value the tag name so we want to use the tag name from here inside here tag okay I can also use this here like this okay let me run again and if I go back here, refresh, simply remove, again add first block, our first block, 
and you can see this is a select control where we can select our deck like is six is two or paragraph and if I refresh I will see the result now it is s5 we can make it like paragraph I refresh you will see now it is a paragraph takes yeah or take sense and it's paragraph so I think you understood how to use STX in your own Gutenberg blog. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.